Hi, friends. I'm Pastor Jack Mantrick, pastor at Central United Methodist Church here at Waterford, Michigan. It's Friday, and I am always want to uh, invite people to come and worship with us. We worship on Sunday morning at 1030. We worship here at our beautiful sanctuary at 3882 Highland Road. We also uh, are available to you online. You can join us uh, uh, at live.waterfordcumc.org. The CUMC stands for Central United Methodist Church. So live.waterfordcumc.org. Join us at 1030 either online or come and meet us in person. I can assure you that you will be welcomed into our uh, fellowship here. We're finishing up uh, a week of talking about Micah's prophecy which is organized in a courtroom drama scenario. Uh, we are, um, we've talked about, uh, we've talked about the, the charges against us. We've talked about our defense being sort of a, a weakened uh, uh, attempt, kind of a whiny attempt of saying, hey, you know, our God is just an impossible God to please. So, you know, how, how could we possibly uh, you know, follow God's rule. And then Micah distills it in Micah 6, 8. And this is a, one of the scriptures that is well known that comes from the book of Micah. I've said before, uh, you'd have to see the message, but we don't know a whole lot about the prophet Micah. But uh, we do know uh, some, some great scriptures that come out of it. And this one, uh, in, in terms of, of uh, Micah 6, 8, is to do justice to love kindness, and to walk humbly with our God. So when we say our God is an impossible God to follow, an impossible God to please, Mike is saying, well, you, you, can't, uh, you, you, you can't do justice. You can't speak up for the oppressed. You can't seek to do what is right for those who are being targeted by people in power. Uh, you know, uh, to love kindness, you don't want to be kind to other people. You don't want to uh, be charitable and giving to others who are less fortunate than you. You, you don't want to do that. Uh, to, to walk humbly with our God, uh, you, you don't want to be in communion with God. You don't want to grow closer to our, our creator. All those things are, are, are relational. It's how we treat each other and it's how we treat our God. So it's all about relationship, friends. And uh, yes, if we unpack those, there are going to be some challenges. There are challenges in terms of seeking justice. There are people who are put in prison around the world. Still today, they are put in prison if they speak up for justice for, for those who are less fortunate and not able to speak for themselves. I get that. Uh, it's not so much here in the United States, so our our voice should be even louder, right? And then there's there's the uh, to 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 love kindness, to just be enough of a human being created in God's image that you would want to be kind to others in every day of our lives. So I want you to think about that as well. So is. Uh, it is, uh, I asked a question in, in our written devotion for today, is seeking the will of God just a means of, of getting into heaven? Um, I have said time and time again that heaven is really a lousy excuse uh, for being a follower of Christ. <laughs> if getting into heaven is your only goal in life, then I got to say you've missed, uh, you've missed the message. <laughs> the message is that we are to bring heaven to earth. That's what doing justice is. That's what loving kindness is. To walk humbly with our God then is to be empowered in God's presence to do justice and to love kindness. So I want you to think deeply about what it means, this, this tiny verse in, in Micah's tiny little book of, 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 of our large collection of scriptures, particularly the, the Hebrew scriptures. We are, what does the Lord require of us? But to do justice, to love kindness, and to walk humbly with our God. Those are 
very elemental and simple and meaningful for our relationship with God. And no, I'm not, I'm not saying that they're always easy, but, but it's clear what we are to do in our life and, uh, and, and to try to seek that every day. Think about what it would be if each of us walk, woke up in the morning and say, how am I gonna do justice today? How am I gonna love kindness today? How will I walk humbly with my God? If we ask ourselves that question every morning of every day, I think it would set a different agenda for you. So I want you to think about that and, uh, and know that God wants a relationship with you, that God wants to be a companion with you in this journey of life that helps us, <clears throat> excuse me, both in our relationship with the divine and with our relationship horizontally with, it, with one another. I hope you had a good week talking about Micah uh, throughout this week. Take some time. You can read the whole book if you want to in just a few minutes, really. But take some time with it and enjoy it as a piece of, uh, of uh, our heritage, uh, relying on the prophets of the Old Testament. And to know that it also expressed, and I said this in the message, expresses a hope in the Messiah, uh, who we believe is Jesus the Christ of Nazareth. At any rate, have a great weekend. Join us for worship. Let's pray. Gracious God, we do thank you for this week of speaking about Micah, to know your, your blessing uh, upon us and to seek justice, to love kindness, and to walk humbly with you. Help us to do that, Lord. We know that you meet us wherever we are in life. So whatever journey or path that we are on, whether we were coming out of the dark woods or, or starting to enter into it, you are with us and that you will walk along with us so that we may know your presence and seek your will here on earth as it is in heaven. May it ever be so in the name of Christ our Lord and by the power of your Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a great weekend, friends.